Well, let, let's start with just Memo, who really was one of my favorite players of all time. I mean, he's a pro's pro, no doubt about it. Loved the game, great teammate, and he, he just loved to play. And it, it was funny how all this thing kind of came about. One night, out of nowhere, as, as a broadcaster, uh, Memo hits a big three. Uh, early, early in my career, by the way, when I was just starting with the Jazz, and I think I just spouted out something like, oh, that's money. Williams, left-hand dribble, hands off the Memo for money. Yes! Cash it in the bank! You can't get any bigger than that and the money man was born. I mean, that's just how simple it is because he backed it up more than once. It was like every time, Memo was in a hot streak for a couple of years, that any time he touched the ball, you knew it was going in. And so the money man was born and it was a blast to watch, watch him play the game. He loved it. Uh, he loved the stage. He loved the fans. He'd blow on his fingers a little bit and sometimes you'd look over the table at, at Boone or Harper and I and just, you know, kind of slide off a few, few dollar bills, as he would say it. Memo, being about a seven-footer, really helped kind of change the game to where we are today. Uh, the three ball is so popular, and he made it popular for the Jazz, and he was so consistent. What he could do, of course, he could bang inside if he had to, but what really uh, drove opponents crazy about, about the Jazz, Memo could hit a trailer three. He could hit it from the corner, left or right side of the floor. And the thing is, it, they had to respect his game so much, it helped spread the floor, open the floor, and allow the Jazz to work freely inside more because the big man was a threat every time he touched the ball. It was a fun time to be a Jazz fan when Mehmet Okur was dressed up in, in the uniform and doing his, his, uh, his money show. A great story, one night, uh, the great late Larry Miller came up to me and said, you know, Bowler, um, I tell you that memo money name, you know, is something else. I'm never gonna tell you what to call him, but, and, and he, he kind of laughs, but you know, his contract's up at the end of this year, and this money thing may cost, cost me money. And we kind of had a joke and laugh about it, but I, I'll never forget that. It was in the back hallway, just outside the Jazz locker room. And uh, I, I always, I'll always remember Larry talking about the money man.